Perimeter example one. Okay, so we've got two shapes here. We've got a triangle and we've got a circle. So we'll start with a triangle and we need to calculate the perimeter correct to one decimal place. And the problem with finding the perimeter of this particular triangle is that we've only been given two out of the three sides. We have not been given this side here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just because I don't know what it's called, usually you use some sort of a pronumeral, we'll use x in this case, and we need to find the length of the side before we can add up the three sides together. Hopefully some of you will realize that this is just Pythagoras' theorem, um, using the formula c squared equals a squared plus b squared, c being your hypotenuse, or x, and a and b being your two other sides. So we'll have x squared equals 3.5 squared plus 4.1 squared, which will equal 4.1, gives us 29.06, 29.06, which is what x squared equals, meaning to find x, we must find the square root of 29.06 which will be to one decimal place 5.4 5.4 meters to one decimal place now all that does is it just tells us the length of the third side we then need to find the perimeter by adding up each side so we're just going to go 3.5 plus 4.1 plus 5.4 and we'll work that out now. 3.5 plus 4.1 plus 5.4 gives us 13. And we have to do it to one decimal place, so we'll say 13.0 meters. Okay, so that's the perimeter of the triangle. Now the <coughs> circle. So whenever you do curved shapes, you just have to use a formula. In this case, a, the formula for a circle is C equals 2 pi r, which is the same as writing 2 times pi times r. Now r is the distance from the middle to the edge, which in this case is 3.6. So 2 times pi times 3.6. And we're just going to grab our calculator and work it out. 2 times pi times 3.6 equals, and it comes out in to one decimal place, it'll be 22.6 meters, which is the distance around the edge of the circle. 